Hi and welcome aboard. That's a cool way to start, isn't it? Today we're making uh, orecchetti, which is a pasta like this. And orecchetti means little ear. You can see they're actually um, shaped like little ears, really. And these are made quite different to normal pastas. They're normally made from durum wheat and water and then just rolled off the finger like, as you'll see, it fits on your thumb perfectly like that. Uh, these will take about 15 minutes to cook and the sauce we're making for this is really, really easy. So to my right, I've got some boiling water. So I'm gonna start the pasta first, little pinch of salt in there, which will start the seasoning process right away. And pasta goes in. So we can move over here now. Might put this pasta to the side. One of you guys out there, keep a timer on for uh, 15 minutes for me. And now we can think about making this sauce. So traditionally in Sardinia, they'll make this with uh, chimidi rape, which is a type of broccoli, which we don't really have very much in Australia at all. So instead I'm gonna use this broccolini and you can get a really good result using that too. Um, before I actually chop into that, I'll get the garlic going for this. So one garlic clove, once again, we'll just make kind of one portion of this. So give a little bit of a crush down, little pinch of salt. So uh, I might take a little bit of chili as well. <laughs> Quite a lot of chili because I like it. That'll do. And then moving over to the pan, just kind of a tablespoon of olive oil in there. Garlic and chili can go in. And then straight away, I wanna put some anchovy in there. And this is really common with this pasta. It's quite important you put it in. The anchovy will melt right through there and kind of disintegrate down, giving that beautiful background salty flavor. So give that a little bit of a move around. I'm gonna cut the broccolini quite finely. And you can use the stalk as well. And this can go straight in. Once you've got the broccoli in there, just move it around in the pan. At this stage of the game, you can play some Uno or whatever you want. We've got a little bit of time. This is pretty much all there is to this dish. We just let this kind of saute away and cook. The pan's over a low heat right now because we have loads of time. I'm just gonna grab myself a wooden spoon. Okay, that's almost done. That's been cooking away. As you can see, the broccoli is nice and soft. So I'm gonna take a little bit of parsley, not too much. Just run through it with a knife. A little more. Okay, that can go off. Now we can strain this pasta out. Reserve a little bit of that pasta water. Orecchetti goes in. You can put a little bit of that water in there as well. And then stir this through right away. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna pop this back on a low heat. Really, really low. And from here, the parsley can go in. Little bit of Parmesan cheese. And at the very, very end, a good splash of cold pressed olive oil. And then stir this through. That's all there is to this. There's a lot of broccoli in there. This is probably one of the healthier pastas you can have. I'm not even gonna bother plating this up because I eat it like this at home. Straight in the middle of the table, a nice big serving spoon, and you can, with your loved one, guests, whatever, serve it immediately into their bowl with a healthy grating of Parmesan cheese, or traditionally they use pecorino. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this clip. I'm gonna eat this now. I'll catch you guys next week.